Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. It's Tuesday, it's actually Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> it's been a busy day. I just got back from taking Charlie to the vet to get his anals expressed. Yesterday was Teddy's turn. The difference between taking those two anywhere, Teddy is just a nervous wreck, clingy. I come home sweaty, dirty, covered in hair. Charlie, I got him to walk today. Sometimes he wants me to carry him, but he, I got him to walk. He walked on his leash and went in and went in and then we went out. Ah, Teddy's on some medicine for allergies, um, but they're good, hopefully, for the next month as far as the anals go. So anyway, um, and then I've just been cleaning. I had another accident in the bed this morning. I got up, I had to go to the bathroom so badly. Teddy was wearing his pad and he would not come out so I could shut my bedroom door. I was like, well, he's got a pad on. Well, I didn't realize the pad wasn't covering everything because he peed all over the bed. I don't know why he does this. I don't know why he does this because he sleeps in that bed and then he will all over it. Um, so, that was, but I, it, because they sleep with me, I do have to change the bedding more often. So I'm like, oh, okay. And fortunately only one pillow got something on it and I can wash that. So they're just changing the bedding out again. So anyway, I don't know why he does that. Like, he's four, he's gonna be four. And he's just such a nervous little guy. And I think that's what, it's just like, oh, well, she left, so now I'm upset and I'm going to go. I don't know. Anyway, so lots of laundry today. Um, trying to do some work. I've been coming down to the basement. Every time I come to the basement when I don't have laundry, I try to bring some things down for when I set my office back up down here. So I'll kind of show you that right now. Okay, so I am in the middle of a planned move of moving my eBay and my Etsy stuff all to the basement. Um, this is how the house was when I originally bought it. My entire office was down here. And then of course, you know, my dad needed me, we had to be upstairs. So, and since I'm getting back into eBay, um, this is going to be great. Keep me busy, plenty of room, save for retirement or remodel this house. One of, I don't know, can I do all of them? Anyway, so, um, that table is going upstairs. We're planning a garage sale. So I have put the hall breaks on listing anything else on eBay until this is done because right now trying to list photograph and list upstairs bring it down it's just it's too much and I'm working on my book so it's going to be a few weeks before I get new stuff listed but in the meantime I just keep bringing things down here bringing down lights I need to see if that lamp will work um needs a new bulb I think hopefully it will turn on then these things will eventually go up to my office um, I will probably get some more of these shelves I know I've talked about. I probably will get two more for there, and then I think two or three fit here. Um, again, not only does it hold eBay stuff, but these you just can't go wrong with these shelves. I Sam's Club should sponsor me for this shelving because they last forever. You can use them in the garage. They hold a ton of weight. They're easy to put together. So I just, you can't have too many. So eventually I will add some more. Obviously there's my stash of regular boxes that aren't priority. With this new ground advantage, you can really get a good deal um, over priority. And it didn't used to be that way. For me, if things were over, um, if, if they were under four pounds, I could almost always bump up to priority. And now sometimes ground advantage is better. So um, I need more regular boxes. This is all to list. This is everything that is listed on eBay. Obviously not a lot. And then the Pioneer Woman stuff that is listed as well. So right now, that's it. It can sit. And I will eventually get to it. I'll have, I took one table upstairs already. So my tables will be here for listing, photographing, shipping. Um, yeah. And I did order a new computer so my old system with the printers will be coming down here. Um, so like I said, everything but writing will be done down here. And it'll just be great because it feels, my whole business, I'm like, I just want a building. I just want to go somewhere that's not my house, have it all there, and then leave. And that's what the basement is. That's what the basement is for me. It's another building. The dogs don't know I'm down here. I leave out the kitchen and they think I'm, I've left. They don't know I'm down here. So I can get my work done. I'm gonna bring my standing desk down here so I can stand while I'm doing it and get up off the couch. Because if they had their way, I would be on that couch for 18 hours a day, 
16 hours a day and then the other eight hours I would be in the bed and I would not move because that's why I want to do it. So I'm looking forward to having this dedicated space. You know, like I said, when I bought the house, that's what this was. Um, although my dad never wanted to do the shipping down here and I would be like, why can't you just do the shipping down here? I want to do it upstairs. So the shipping stuff slowly got upstairs, um, but it'll all be down here now. And then when I'm done, upstairs, close the door and it's not in my living space. I've scheduled carpet cleaning and duct cleaning out for Friday. That needs, desperately needs to be done. Both of those things. Um, and that was, you know, that was a hard thing when my, you know, my dad was here, like he wouldn't have been able to tolerate the carpet cleaning. He just wouldn't, it was just too much, too much going on. He would have had to move from the living room. It was just really hard, you know, on him to not be in his chair. So doing the carpet cleaning, same kind of with the duck work, you know, just all the noise and people around, just especially in the last couple of years, things just really, really aggravated him more. He just wanted quiet and be left alone and well with me and the dogs. But anyway, so kind of catching up on house projects. Um, like I said, you know, maybe just, I need to remodel this house because the cost of houses continues to go up and the interest rates are insane. Like who is buying these houses? You're going to be upside down in your mortgage within a few years. So I'm like, maybe I should just try to figure out ways to make this house better. Anyway, which the, like the bones, the foundation, that's all good. It's just cosmetic. So anyway, that is what is going on. I picked up a Jimmy John sub on the way home for dinner. Uh, the only thing obviously is this floor. You guys say to get an um, outdoor rug, indoor outdoor rugs for down here. And I can definitely do that. Um, although, you know, I will eventually put a banquet table here again. And this ends up just like so messy. You don't even, I don't even notice it. This is this rug I got from Timu that I just plopped there because at one point Papa decided he was going to take all the tile up. I don't know why. Ah, very traumatic. We couldn't get him to stop. So that's kind of a mess. But, you know, with it being just so much stuff over here and just in case water came in again, I think we've got it solved, but you never know. And then I don't have to worry about it. So that is the update for now. I'm just, like I said, excited to get this space all finished, but it will be probably to the end of December before this is ready for me to be full scale um, listing on eBay. And my Etsy sticker stuff will be down here as well, which will also be good because it's hard just to even ship that stuff because the dogs are outside my office crying. So... <laughs> I'm held hostage by my dogs. So this will make it easier on me. It'll make it easier on them too. They won't be so upset because they won't think I'm home. I kind of failed at vlogging today. I was just busy cleaning <laughs> and laundry and you know, nothing really fun. Um, but I do have some Etsy orders to show you guys. So the first is from Diane in Illinois, who also left me a really nice note um, on Etsy. So thank you so much, Diane. She's getting the I Can Do Hard Things Magnet, the Butterfly, which is like a gingerbread cookie butterfly. She's getting one of the Atomic Cats, the Siamese Cat, and the Golden Retriever. No, Labrador Retriever, the Yellow Lab. They kind of look the same. I guess the, the um, Golden Retriever is more fluffy, right? Next order is from Carol in Indiana, and it is a big one. So let me get organized here, make sure that I get everything straight. She's getting one of the Atomic Cat Magnets. She is getting two of the Deer Stickers, two of the Purple Ornament Magnets, two of the Blue, two of the Gold, and two of the green, those are all new colors. She's getting two of the pumpkin spice magnets, two of the please leave me alone stickers, two of the holographic video game stickers, and is that, yep, that is everything. So thank you so much, that was a fantastic order. Next order is from Bethany in Michigan, who also left me a very nice message on um, Etsy. I'm so sorry you just lost your dad. It is tough. Um, 
maybe the stickers and magnets will cheer you up a little. She is getting one of these sloth stickers and one of the magnets, the Buckle Up Bitches sticker, the I'm All Hustled Out sticker, and one of the Butterfly Cookie magnets from um, Valia in Arkansas. And she's getting four of the Cat Bat magnets and she left a note, had to get it on the trend, Cat Bat. <laughs> I love it. And finally tonight, Jenny in Alabama ordered two of the matte ice cream truck stickers. I do have these also in holographic, and I think I have one magnet left in these. This is one of the very first designs that I ever offered. It's the next day. It is Wednesday, and I'm in line at McDonald's. Not to get a caramel frappe, get a frozen Coke. I'm okay. I've been, I once want, I went once not long after my dad died. I was very triggered in line and started bawling, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, I still think about it every day, you know, several times a day, things will like remind me, but I just, you know, tell myself I got to keep moving forward. I've got to, you know, I've got dogs to take care of. I got this house. I got to, you know, I got to keep going. So, um, but I have to go to the pharmacy and then I'm going to go to Fairway to get some groceries. Um, so yeah. Hopefully, if you are in Florida, you are not in the eye of the hurricane that hit. I think it came in this morning. So, I haven't even seen news this morning because the dogs and I were just snuggling all morning. They were so cute and snuggly. I had to get up and go to the bathroom. I was like, oh, it's too early to get up. So, we just climbed back in and they just were snuggling and sleeping. So, we just loafed around this morning. So, I haven't even, like, seen the, the latest news. Oh, we're here at Fairway to get some groceries get some more of this tortellini. It's just an easy dinner. It's like not my favorite, but it'll do. I'd like to get something like this where it's just all nice and ready to go, but I don't like cucumber and I don't like tomato. I just have to buy it separately, which is fine. It's cheaper that way, but I'm lazy. I don't want to cut it all up. You can get some up here without the other stuff, but then that's not a good deal. So I just got I just cut it up myself, and then I got this to dip it in. So, I'll we'll try that. Cedar Falls store, and I'm always confused, so I don't usually come over here as to where everything is. Oh, the pickles and olives, that's what's on my list. For chocolate muffin mix, because I've got a bunch of pumpkin, and you can make them with that. I don't know why it's so been so hard to find. This is the only kind they have here. I think I can make brownies with the pumpkin, too. So, these are had the coupon on them, so I'm gonna get those. Carry the bonitos here now. Ooh, I used to love those from, um, I think it was the Thrive Box. Hmm, but nacho, is it spicy or is it just cheesy? I don't know. Milk is about $3.69 here. It's cheaper at Target and Sam's Club, but since I'm here, I've gotta get them here. Blue bonnet margarine is $2.48. Are you kidding me? It used to be 99 cents and usually on sale for 78, that's crazy. So if you watched my previous vlog, my road trip where I went thrifting in Dubuque after my niece's birthday party, I would said I bought some things at the Shaggy's indoor flea market and then I never showed them. So here's what I got. I got one of these um, Ginny Sassoon dolls. I just love these and if they're new in the package and I can't remember what he had on this, but it was 30% off and I just love this kind of thing. Also found this um, paperweight. It was on clearance, 750, look at the date. After 622, 2022, went down to 750. So that's the, um, with this place, the vendors that do this type of stuff and they have barcodes on everything. So it is a kind of place where if you dig, you can find things. Um, you know, normally I only like to pay a buck or two for stuff, but I was there and I paid eight for these. Again, that's more than I would normally pay, but I was there and I wanted to get something. Um, so I got these cute little made in Japan. Afro for for more for for frick deer and they are in excellent shape. I got um, some pickle spears. I'm gonna make sweet pickles and then I got the giant jar of the olives because it's cheaper than the little jars. And with the way grocery prices are, it's insanity. So love those. And then I got these baking mixes, the muffin, and then some brownies because I have like seven jars of the no four. I don't know. I got a lot of this giant pumpkin um, because when it's a good deal at Sam's Club and um, you can make you can make muffins brownies cake I probably could have just used a cake mix to make muffins but I just have to google I think it, 
I think you just put in the uh, pumpkin to do it. Um, no eggs, oil, or water. So I got those to do that since I have so much pumpkin. And there's Mr. Teddy. Hi, buddy. Also, I found, I got one of these brochures at that indoor flea market. Let's see if we can put it back together. Anyway, the Mississippi Valley Tri-State Antiques, Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin. So, um, this is really interesting because it's hard to find where the antique stores and thrift stores and things are. Um, you know, not everybody's on Facebook. It doesn't always show up on Google. So, this shows Cascade, Monticello, Anamosa, Mount Vernon, Dubuque, um, Maquoketa, DeWitt, Clinton, West Branch, um, Cognon, Coggin, Dyersville, Edgewood, Elkader, Guttenberg, Delhi, Manchester. The Czech Village in Cedar Rapids got its own section. I'm sure they probably paid for that because it's Cedar Rapids is a little, doesn't really consider tri-state. Um, and then we've got these, Harper's Ferry. I think this was an ad. Then we've got Illinois, some here in Illinois. This is interesting in Galena. They've got an antique mall and an easy sell recenter. So I wonder if that's vintage. I mean, they have their website, so now I can go out and research. And then this one for Wisconsin, just in that little tri-state area. This is the kind of thing I'm looking for, like more like flea market vendor markets versus antique malls, because you know, antique stores and antique malls, depending, they can tend to be a little high price. Um, but this is great. Um, I'd really like to go up to Galena sometime and then drive up through the Dells. So obviously this um, tri-city here would be in the Galena area. And they've got the antique mall, the consignment. Then they've got Common Sense Resale, Anchors and Arrow Home Decor Store, and Salon. Well, that's interesting. The True Value Antique and Antiques, etc. I've never been down to the Czech Village in Des Moines, but I, I've heard that they have really cute antique stores. Again, I don't know, like, if you can get any kind of deal. Again, this is more antique -y stuff, but it's interesting to look at. Oh, Crazy Frank's Indoor Market in Mineral Point and Reedstown, Wisconsin. Anybody ever been to Crazy Frank's? Southern Wisconsin's largest year-round indoor flea market. Over 300 vendors in all three locations. Huh. That'd be a good, like, on the way to the Dells. Anyway, I thought this was an interesting thing. And, oh, they have a Facebook page, Mississippi Valley Tri-State Antiques. So if you want to go on there and follow all their stuff, you can find them on Facebook. So most of the recipes call for, like, a 15, 18-ounce muffin mix. This one is 20, and then, like, 15 ounces of pumpkin. So I might just let, like, a little bit more. Um, and then just, I think you bake them to package directions. I got to look that up too. The power just went out for like 10 seconds and now I'm having to go and reset all the clocks and the TVs. Right. Oh, I'm going to use 16 ounces, which is two cups of the pumpkin. And that still leaves quite a bit in there. Like I said, I have multiple cans. I'll just cover that, put it back in the fridge. Hindsight being 2020, I could have saved money and not gotten a muffin mix and just gotten a cake mix because it's the same dang thing. So I could have gotten a cake mix for like probably a buck 50 rather than this but live and learn and then get loves right teddy yeah okay, so i had too much batter to fit in one muffin thing so i had to break out my mini muffin one to fill up some more so we'll see how it bakes up with a different size oh and i got two new things to add to the candy drawer which remains untouched since the last time i saw it <laughs> because i hoard i hoard um these down so when i was at fairway i got a couple of dark chocolate bars the 72 and the 86 of the Ghirardelli to try. And when I say try, I'm going to put in my drawer here and then we'll just look at it. I need to kind of move things around. I still haven't tried these. Somebody said these are so good. I feel like I feel like I had these as a child. I don't know. They kind of, there was some sort of fudge bar when I was a kid. Anyway, oh no, there's a space there. What are we going to do? Hmm. I don't like that. Let's move some of these over. See, the thing with the candy drawer, it's all about the aesthetic, right? Okay, now see how nice that looks? And then those are there, and these are here, there, and we shut it again. A little update in here in my dad's room. I had a black table in here. 
That is now in my office because the table that was in there is outside for the garage sale. Um, the black table and then another black card table are my brand new ones and I don't want them outside for the garage sale. They're gonna be in my office. So, um, but I have a lot of the other white ones and my niece is bringing a couple. So we're still planning that, just kind of watching the weather and for my street to reopen. Um, but this standing desk will go downstairs and those things will go downstairs because I'm just, everything eBay right now downstairs and then when the garage sale's over and have my tables back, the um, Etsy stuff will go down there too. Light box I need to take down. These two shelves, I'm gonna move into my office since I'm gonna have a lot more room in there. Those will go in there. I have a shelf that's currently in my office. I'm gonna think I'm gonna put that here and put like my shoes on it just because that's where I come in from. <laughs> um, my dad's little display there, I need to fix that up a little more. I'm getting all the John Deere stuff on top. And then that shelf and you know, whatever. And I'm keeping, you know, the way things were. What I'd like to do is I have totes downstairs with my mom's and my brother's things and my oldest brother who died. I want to get all that up here and put it into the drawer so that everything that's my mom's, my dad's, and my late brother's are all in this room. And I will just be so happy. There is a cedar chest down there that belonged to my great aunt. Ideally, it'd be nice if it could go there, but I'm not hauling that thing up. <laughs> um, and then I know I've told you guys eventually that desk and the china cabinet will come in here as well. But for right now, you know, it's a little bit messy, but it's a lot of cleanup. This is the Pioneer Woman stuff I'm gonna keep. That platter, I'm not shipping it. And that's a good platter and a good basket. And then this bowl cover thing, I'm just gonna keep those. And this is for outside the garage sale. And then of course, puppy pads and things and the cleaning stuff. So yeah, the vision is coming together slowly but so I sure. spent my quarterly eBay store coupon $25 on more tissue paper. I have so much tape and so many bags and so many boxes. Um, I love the tissue paper. It's great to tuck around delicate things. So I thought that'd be something to spend it on. I do, I did upgrade back to a uh, basic store, the $22 a month, which is dumb because I just canceled it not that long ago and had to pay a penalty and then I just resubscribe. But it is what it is. It is what it is, isn't it, Teddy? What are you doing under there? Should we go sit down? The muffins are almost done. After the muffins are done, we'll go sit down. All right, okay. muffins are done. I did 15 minutes and they look done to me. So we'll see how they taste later. But next, after these, eat these up. I'll make um, brownies the same way. You just add in, you know, the canned pumpkin. Although, like I said, I do Google just to see if there's a measurement difference to it, but I was able to get these with a coupon. Cause again, this stuff, remember when brownie makes 99 cents? Not anymore, it's like two bucks. Although wait, maybe these were a buck 59, but then there was a dollar off coupon. So I used to be an extreme couponer. I don't think I could get back into it. My brain doesn't compute anymore. You want your blanket perch? You are. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, that's not too many. So I'm having girl dinner. It's the TikTokers call it. We've got carrots, bananas, cheese, um, unsalted raw cashews and olives. Um, somebody commented you're not supposed to eat nuts when you have diverted tiki lighters. No, you're not. Nuts, seeds, popcorn, corn, sweet corn, corn on the cob. Those are like the big no-nos. Um, I try to avoid seeds and I now avoid corn. Um, they really wreck havoc. Corn especially will give me I've recently discovered major indigestion, heartburn. Um, I try to avoid popcorn, but occasionally. And as far as, oh, as far as the nuts, um, I just chew them really well. I, I tell myself, I'm just gonna chew them really well. And these are raw, unsalty cashews, so they don't have like, sometimes the holes that are on peanuts, that's kind of where the problem, like the same with corn, it's the, the little holes that are on them that really get stuck down in the colon. So I try to avoid that, but I eat the raw cashews. I don't eat them every day, but like I said, I chew them really well and I haven't had an issue. It's honestly corn, which is, un, you know, uh, kind of hard when you live in Iowa. And it's only something I've discovered in the last year that, um, yeah, no corn, no corn. And it's everywhere. But All right, right, let's try one of the chocolate pumpkin muffins. These are the little ones, obviously. Mm. 
they're very moist. Obviously, you get the pumpkin flavor, but I like them. Most people buy the spice cake mix and then the pumpkin, then they get like a pumpkin spice muffin. Or like I said, I should have just gotten chocolate cake mix. You can use any cake mix. Vanilla, chocolate, spice. I wouldn't use like strawberry. What other flavors are there? I don't know. Anyway, I think they're good. I don't good. know why, but I'm still kind of hungry. So I've got my bag of chocolate rice cakes. I don't like, I wish I could get the smaller ones. I was like, just, I can just chunk, chop these up. So I'm just crunching them up into smaller bites. Our problem solving right there. Down in the eBay room because I had an order. I accepted an offer of $41.25 for this Pioneer Woman bread basket in teal. And the buyer's paying shipping. So I've got this box. I'm going to see if I can find something a little, it doesn't have to be so deep. I could cut it down, but that takes so long. Well, I could probably angle it. I don't know. Um, I think that's actually bigger. Go over to my stash of boxes. Oh my gosh, I put a phone down here and now someone's calling. I'm gonna repurpose this Fab Fit Fun box um, because it's actually not as deep, but then it's a little longer. So that will be great. And I don't know who it was on the phone. It was some like robo call. But we get political calls all day, every day. I don't answer them. I should, so I can give them my opinion. But, you know, I also have other things to do. Right, now we're gonna do some Etsy orders. So first order is from Brenda in California. She said, just watch your YouTube video and had to get more. Thank you so much. She's getting the Pug Halloween sticker, the um, Atomic Cat Magnet, the cute little waving pug magnet, the black cat jack-o'-lantern magnet, and the black cat witch magnet, which is now out of stock, but I've reordered more. So hopefully they come soon. This has been very, very popular, which is exciting because I made this design with Mid Journey. Yay! Next order is from another repeat customer, Sally in Michigan. Thank you so much, Sally. She is getting the Valentine's Day gingerbread carousel one of the chocolate Easter bunny magnets, one of the theme park magnets, the Christmas gingerbread house, the new doll house, one of the ghost magnets, one of the light brown teddy bear magnets, and, oop, I grabbed the wrong one. One she moment. She ordered the lucky cat um, set of magnets. I'd grab the sticker, so. All magnets orders are from another repeat customer, Deborah in Arizona. Thank you so much, Deborah. She is getting, I think, all magnets, the new ghost, the pop art kittens, the um, black witch, black cat witch, the bicolor guinea pig, and the unicorn. Next order is from Shelby in, oh dear, MD, Maryland. Oh gosh. Another repeat customer, thank you, Shelby. It's Maryland, right? Not Montana, no, Maryland. Okay, <laughs> she left me a nice note on um, Etsy too, so thank you so much. She is getting, I think all magnets here, one of the QB baby dolls. Oh, what's with the camera not focusing? Focus, there, made it focus. One of the Day of the Dead cats one of the purple orange haunted houses, the um, mid-century modern cat face, and the purple cat mom magnet. Next order is from Peggy in California and she got all magnets, one of the cupy pumpkin dolls, two of the black cat witches, and two of the new ghosts. I need to think of another, so I've got, I did the, Cat witches, the ghosts, and then the pump or the pug Halloween. I was trying to think of another like classic Halloween icon that I could kind of do in the same vein. I've tried witches, but the graphic program that I use that comes up with the witches' faces, I don't like that. Um, I don't know, maybe like a cute bat, or I don't know, let me know. Something cute. I know some people really like the horror and scary stuff, and I have the haunted houses for that, but I also like to do things that are just cute. So if you have any ideas, 
let me and know. And one last order. This was from Rachel in Missouri, and she got one of the holographic, uh, what do I call this? Pop art cats. So I've fallen a little bit behind in really working on my second Etsy shop, which is the print on demand stuff, but I did get some more things listed there yesterday. So I've got Christmas tree skirts I need to work on. I've got made in the 80s stuff, pet pads uh, or pet mats, cell phone cases. This is something I'm really going to start working hard on um, once my books are done. I've got a lot of Halloween totes. So with a print on demand type of business like this, which means that I do the designs, but then a third party makes them and ships them for me. So I don't have these in stock. So it's print on demand. You have to have so many listings. We're talking hundreds, if not thousands of listings. And I think I have what, 92. <laughs> so I've got a long way to go to really build this up. But um, yeah, this is another just like income stream. I had kind of started before things, you know, happened with my dad and I'm just getting back into it now. I just need the time to really sit down and dedicate to it. Um, and of course, once my books are done, I'll have more time, but I did want to get these, um, Halloween tote bags up because I just thought they were so cute.